So a company's advertising team is voting on five different advertising slogans, which we're just going to call A, B, C, D, and E for simplicity. Uh, and this time we're going to use instant runoff voting. Now just for the fun of it, uh, notice that if we were to use basic plurality voting, that D would be the winner here with the... Oh wait, I lied. Uh, let's see, B has four, five, six, seven, eight, nine first place votes. Sorry, B would be the winner. Uh, under the plurality method. Let's just double check that plurality. Just for comparison. How many first place votes does A have? None. B, uh, 3 plus 4 plus 2 is 9. C has 4. D has 6. And E has 1. Uh, yes, yeah, so B would be the winner under plurality. But we're not going to use plurality. We're going to use instant runoff voting, which is a good choice for this election because uh, there are so many choices that, uh, you know, two very similar choices could split, of the, split the vote. Uh, and so we're going to uh, use instant runoff voting. So instant runoff voting says that whoever gets the smallest number of first place votes uh, is going to get eliminated, uh, and then their votes will... Um, basically get transferred to the their next choice. In other words, this one person who voted for E as their first choice, instead of their vote not counting anymore, uh, their vote will now count towards A. So we're going to, in round one, we're going to eliminate E uh, from our election, which we can very simply do by just crossing E out like that. And so now this one person's vote now counts towards, towards A. So now we look and say, who has the smallest number of first place votes? So at this point, uh, A now has one first place vote, uh, B still has nine, C has four, and D has six. Remember, E has been eliminated. And so next, we're going to eliminate uh, A as our option. So next, we're going to eliminate A. Eliminate A. Eliminate A. Uh, so A is going to be gone. So A is gone, 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 A is gone. Uh, so now, this person's vote transfers to D. And so our now, B still has one, two, three, uh, seven, nine first place votes. C has, uh, four. Uh, and D now has six plus this one here. So D now has seven first place votes. So who do we eliminate next? Next we eliminate, uh, C. Because C is the one with the fewest number of, of first choice votes. And so now C is going to get eliminated, so we're going to eliminate C, eliminate C, eliminate C, eliminate C, eliminate C, eliminate C. Uh, and let's see what our new standings are. So most importantly, we need to look at these people here who were voting for C. Uh, their votes are now counting towards D. So now these four people's only remaining choice, that's, you know, their highest remaining choice is D. So we got four people voting for D here, four more for D here. So D now has ten first place votes. B has three and four and two, uh, oop, I missed one for D, sorry. Four and six and one makes eleven for D. And, and what do we got? Three, uh, four and two is nine for for B. And so at the end of our, um, at the end of our eliminations there, we end up with only two choices, B and D, and the one with the highest number of, uh, first place votes at the end of the elimination here is D. Now it's worth noting that we could have stopped any time that we had a majority, but in this case, uh, with 20 voters, a majority would be more than 10, and nobody had more than 10 first place votes up until the very end here. And so D is the winner under instant runoff voting uh, for this election.